This will be a bent knee barbell max hang. So we're going to be trying to hang as long as possible. Having bent knees and being on a barbell versus just hanging from up here is you've got um, you've got some ways to help yourself out, putting your feet on the floor, um, and also a little safer as you're if you're starting to slip off a little bit, you're closer to the ground. So you'll get into a typical pull up, like overhand grip pull up position. You can do these underhand, but for these we'll go with the overhand grip. So around shoulder width, they're a little wider than shoulder width. width. And it's gonna look similar to uh, your pull-up position. So you're getting down to this bottom position. We want this to be more of an active hang. So what you wanna think about is not shrugging. You're doing the opposite of shrugging. So pulling the shoulders away from the ears. And then we've got several different variations to increase intensity or decrease intensity. So you can just try to hold the knees up like this. It's gonna be a lot of core here. You're keeping the shoulders away from the ears. To add a little bit of assistance to it, we can get the heels out in front. So you're a little more like an L shape. And that way, some of the weight of your lower body is on the floor, but you're still putting a lot of weight into your hands. And then you can also slowly work your way back up to take some of the weight out of the hands too. So if you can't hang for very long, it's better to pull back in a little bit and make sure your torso is pretty vertical. We're not trying to get way out here where you're just putting all the weight in your legs. So that's, those are different ways to help change the intensity. So we've got feet off the floor, you've got heels on the floor, and you can adjust while you're hanging too. And we call it a max hang because the idea is we're trying to hang as long as you can where you can keep those shoulders packed down and as long as your grip's feeling okay. Your grip is oftentimes gonna be what goes first. And for timing, we're looking for anywhere like 20 to 30 seconds, maybe up to about a minute or so. So adjust your position to be able to do that. If you're only going five seconds, let's try to get your legs on you a little bit more and practice a little more endurance with it. If you're able to go for a long time with it, then let's pick those feet up and really work on putting your full body weight into it. Um, one last thing, when you do get tired, like come down, catch yourself with here instead of just kind of slipping off and you know hitting your butt really hard on the floor. At least you are pretty close to the ground, but let's not try to have like a lot of impact. But be smart if you're starting to slip, get your feet under you, and then just stop. Here.